Well, we're back into rope swing. This has to be the biggest video that I've had requests for. So I'm gonna get geared up and I'll see you underwater.
actually keeps you warm until you stand up out of the water and all that nice warm water that was against your body drains away and then it gets cold. Well, whoops. my fingers were starting to get cold to the point that I was losing their stuff. The rest of me is warm. My fingers were chipping out. Those gloves usually do pretty good, but today they weren't really cutting it. All right, let's see what the temp was. 40 degree water temp. There's a couple down trees down in there that I believe I'm gonna come back with a couple buddies for and we'll get them up out of there. Just to make it a little bit Oops, there you are just to make it a little bit safer and a little bit nicer for the kids that do use this that and I kind of plan on coming back here in the summer and checking this out myself I want to jump off of it I think the deepest point that I found out there was 12 feet so not as deep as it possibly could have been, but 12 feet's pretty good. I was honestly, honestly expecting a lot more trash down under there, and it wasn't there. So kudos to everybody that's here in the summer. They're actually taking care of it, which is awesome. I think I pulled up one can and the other metal detector signals were fishing lures. Which honestly can't be helped. I've broken off, I don't know how many hundreds of lures fishing different parts of this stream between swivels and hooks and sinkers and everything. What did we get? Wound up with a really old can ginger ale. See what else is in the bag. Leaf. Managed to get a leaf. Some sort of duct taped up something or another. I don't even. I have no idea what that is. There's another can. I think this was the first can that we found. Make sure there's no crayfish or anything in there that need to go back in. Nope. So old you can't even tell what it is. And that may have, the cans may have not have came from here. They may have came from upstream. couple fishing lures in here oh here we go supply I have no idea what that even is Got a little hole there but it doesn't look like a vape I'm not sure what that is, if it's yours or if you know what it is. If anybody has any ideas, there's a little hole right up in the end, but it doesn't look like it comes off. And then somewhere down in here, I know I got a sinker. Oh, there it is. Old little spinner, really old, all rusted away. See if we can see what kind. I 
an old Swiss swing with a bead and eyeballs painted on it. Really old Swiss swing. And then a one ounce sinker and a swivel. That was jammed into a rock I actually had to kind of dig it out of there. So honestly, for what could have been down there, that's not a whole lot of trash. We're gonna take the trash out of here with us. Um, definitely gonna come back. I'll bring a couple friends. We'll get those trees and stuff out of there to make it a little safer for them because when the current's kind of high, it was pushing me into them. So we'll get them out of there, make it nicer for the kids. If you know of any places like this where they bridge dive, cliff jump, rope swing, any place like that, preferably near the middle of Pennsylvania, either drop it in the comments or if you don't want to make it public, shoot me a message with it. I'm always looking for places like this to go check out. That's all we've got for you today. Hit that like button. It really helps us out. Remember to subscribe. We've got a lot more diving content and a lot more outdoor content coming your way. See you on the next one.